What's becoming clear is that we're in a rapidly escalating uh, trade war, uh, and it's going to take a few months uh, to, to, to roll out, if you will. But uh, President Trump uh, last night threatened $200 billion in, a, in additional Chinese imports that would be subject to a 10 percent tariff from China if China didn't uh, drop its plans to retaliate against an initial $50 billion in imports that were targeted uh, for, for use tariffs. This is really the kind of the, the worst case scenario that, it, that, that economists had feared, that we would descend into a, a series of tit for tat uh, uh, tariffs and that this would uh, destabilize what is one of the most important economic relationships in, 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 in the world. Uh, what comes next? Well, this is going to take a few months uh, to roll out. It's, uh, it took two to three months for the uh, first list of, uh, of $50 billion in U.S. tariffs that the Trump administration uh, r rolled out or, or first presented in April uh, to, to be finalized. We saw the final list just last Friday. It will actually take effect in, in, in early July. They have said that the same process uh, will be used in establishing the list for $200 billion in further tariffs. So uh, brace yourself for a, a long, hot summer. One of the things that the, that the White House keeps saying is that they think they've got the upper hand in, in, in any trade war, and that's very simply because China exported some $500 billion in goods to the U.S. last year, and in return, the U.S. Uh, exported just $130 billion uh, in, in merchandise, and that uh, has led to the trade deficit that Donald Trump is trying to close. Uh, that means, the White House argues, that they have a lot more Chinese imports that they can target for tariffs, and that that the Chinese uh, have a limited playing field if they want to uh, do the same. Uh, the problem is that that sort of underestimates the ability of, of the Chinese authorities to harass U.S. businesses in China or to take other forms of retaliation. Uh, they could use monetary policy to play with the the, uh, uh, the level of, of, of the renminbi, the, the, the Chinese currency, and that's something we've seen uh, China use in the past to try and gain a, a commercial or a trade advantage. Uh, so we could see a, a, a resumption of that, of some kind of provocative currency policy. We could also see them use uh, other measures inside China to harass uh, U.S. businesses, uh, sudden ta tax audits, uh, uh, visits from safety regulators. You could very simply just hold up uh, um, U.S. Uh, parts uh, at the border uh, and subject them to extra uh, uh, inspections that are kind of cooked up on the spot as retaliation. There's lots more things that China can do to uh, harass uh, the U.S. in return. So this trade war isn't, in the end, going to be simply about tariffs. It's going to be about many other things.